All right, hey everybody, my name is Billy with Be A Byte, and today we're gonna test out PlayStation Now for the PC, the Windows computer. I'm fairly certain that it's only for a PC right now. Maybe they'll have Mac support later. Maybe I'm wrong. You can yell at me in the comments. PS Now is pretty cool. It's like PlayStation's rental streaming service-ish. So they can't seem to emulate natively the PlayStation 3 hardware on PS4, but they can stream PS3 games to your PS4 or to the Vita or now to your Windows PC. So this is what we're doing here. I have a controller plugged in and we're just going to browse through some of the listings on PlayStation Now right now and let's see what we can get into. So far it's pretty easy to set up. You just download the you download the app on your computer and it sets up pretty quickly. If you have a PlayStation Network account ready, you just log in and you should be good. Uh, let me see. I have a couple of games on my list that I wanted to get to. I never had a PS3, so this is like the coolest thing, right? So um, kind of don't have to buy a you know a PS3 fat or a PS3 slim if you have a working Windows PC with the minimum specs and the the right sort of the right network speed then you should be able to do it just fine. Uh, let's see what game I want to get into. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta -ta. We'll go into Journey. Let's see if we can stream Journey. Now I have a pretty fast internet connection. We have between 70 plus to 100 megabits per second down on uh, Comcast Xfinity. But let's see what we can do here. So it's repairing the game. What it does essentially is, oh man, what the hell? Why is it not, this game is not available at the moment. Try again later. Okay, we'll add it to my list. Let's see. Okay, can't play Journey. That's actually pretty not cool. Uh, let's see what we can do. Um, while I'm looking for a random game to play, you can control this PlayStation Now app on your Windows PC with a DualShock 4. Um, other <laughs> other game pads will not work. At least I haven't tested any yet. Maybe I'm wrong. But so far right now, it's just DualShock 4. No DualShock 3. And you can use just a wired connection from your DualShock 3 to a USB port. Uh, Sony did say they're going to release a wireless dongle for the DualShock 4 so that you don't have to wire it wire it in uh, manually. Uh, let's see. Let's play Super Stardust HD. Cool, let's do this. Place it now, starting, preparing your game. Will this work? Who knows? Start select, that's weird. Okay, let's do this. Friendly warning. If this icon appears, your connection has dropped. Stay in the action. If you are interactive for a while, your game will automatically close to make room on the server for other players. So, real quick thing about PlayStation Now: it is a, it is, it does cost you money. Um, so that there's that, right? So it's not free, but it will cost you money. And every week, it seems like they're they're adding more games to the service. Uh, this week, they added Tomb Raider Definitive Collection, Mafia 2. Um, Borderlands, Civilizations, all that good stuff. They have a bunch of cool games on here. 400 plus PS3 games, including The Last of Us, Uncharted, Trilogy, Infamous. Uh, they just added Nino Kuni, which I'm going to get into for real, for real on here. Um, they have a seven day free trial if you wanted to just start and, you know, start and play and not have to worry about paying money uh, up front. You can also do a one month subscription or a 12 month subscription. One month is 20 bucks, a full year is $100 uh, for a full year. So there is that. You can also just go into them individually and I believe do time sort of rentals. I, I don't remember exactly how much a game costs if you can rent it out for like a week, um, which I've done. I've I rented Journey on PS Vita using PlayStation Now for a week and that costed like five bucks or something like that. Cool. So let's see, press start button. Start button is on the right side, I think. Okay, it is kind of weird using the DualShock 4 because there is no start and select like there is on a, on a DualShock 3, but as you saw in the graphic earlier, the left side of the touchpad on the DualShock 4, access select, and the other side, the right side of the touchpad is the start button. Okay, let's do single player. This is actually pretty cool. It's obviously a little bit fuzzy. It looks kind of low res. It's kind of, yeah, 
I don't know if that's just because it's a PS3 game or what, but we'll do it. We'll, we'll do normal because, you know, cool, boost, whatever, let's do this. Shield, mm-hmm. All right. This controls pretty well, to be honest. I feel like there is a little bit of input lag, but I can't really tell. I don't, maybe, I don't know. But this is pretty sweet. So, Super Stardust, plane there. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. I feel like there is lag, but maybe that's just my mind, my mind's eye, you know? Oh shit. This is a pretty good game to test it on too, since it does require a lot of sort of twitch, twitchy gameplay movements, things of that nature. Um, and the graphics look pretty good. It does look like it is being streamed though. I wonder if you can, shit, I wonder if you can up the, the quality of the stream. There wasn't any way for me to do it, but it does look like it's working pretty well. So far on my side, again, there's there's no, at least not noticeable in, input lag. It requires at least five megabits down. That's the minimum. For optimal play, they want, um, I think, 12 and above. So if you're in the in the US, um, at least in, you know, metropolitan areas like California, Bay Area, uh, big city areas, I'm in California and it's fine on Xfinity Comcast. Um, and yeah, the controls work really well. Everything's working pretty fine. Let's see if I... Ah, oh, shit. Well, I just ran into that. Let's go into... I mean, that's basically gameplay for PlayStation Now, right? That is pretty much it. So it's like a Netflix uh, subscription, I guess. A hundred bucks will get you unlimited access to all the games on the service. Obviously, you're paying a hundred dollars a year. Um, but, you know, that's how it goes. How the hell did I get out now? What if I don't want to play this game? What if I hit the share button? Okay, cool. If you hit the PlayStation button on the DualShock 4, I can do it. Go, what? Let's do XMB. Remember this shit? Yeah, XMB. But I don't want XMB. We'll, we'll close the game. We shall quit the game. Okay, let's play something else. Or actually, let's see if we can... How do we... Hmm... It doesn't look like there's any way for me to ad manually adjust the streaming quality. It looks like it's kind of just whatever it's set at, it's set at. Let's play something like visually stunning. Overall, so as you can see here, I've noticed this too. Just playing with the app earlier in the day, earlier this morning. It is kind of janky. There's not a lot of options and some things may not load like this. This is obviously, you know, G, uh, and then that's weird, right? So there, it just thinks that there's another row here. Uh, but it's not loading any of the H games, which is odd. Overall, it does feel very good. There's no way for me, it looks like, to change the, the quality of the streams which is odd, but I guess that makes sense because it's very easy, very easy to plug and play and you just kind of go, you don't have to worry about it. Which is strange because I don't know who this is for because this is obviously for the, the hardcore gamers that want to play their PS3 games that they missed out on, like myself, but it doesn't seem like it's quite finished yet. Um, here's Journey. Oh yeah, Journey doesn't work. Doesn't seem like it's quite finished yet, just because there's a lot of weird, uh, I don't know, technical hiccups yet, still. But I'm sure they'll work it out. And let's see, let's play Heavenly Sword. And maybe there are in-game settings that, that let you kind of control the quality of the stream. We'll see. All right, Heavenly Sword, Ninja Theory. Is anyone else really excited for Hellblade? Hellblade looks great. I think this kind of is doing the same thing. It looks kind of fuzzy, at least on my end. And it doesn't, uh, yeah, there's no way for you to change the quality of the stream. So let's just play. And Heavenly Sword, from what I remember, looked really, really good uh, back in the day. Um, very cinematic, always wanted to play this. 
never got to play it, obviously. But now I can with PlayStation Now. All right, now we're in the game. Oh man, this is weird. I feel like there is lag, but I don't know if it's like the stream lagging or if it's... This looks pretty bad. But I don't know if it's just because it's an early PS3 game or if it's because the, la the stream is not as very high quality. Super style attacks. Oh, there's some weird screen tearing as well. This is emulating the uh, the PS3 as it was. So whatever game you're, you're streaming is going to play as if you were playing on a PS3 at its best condition. That means it's not like suddenly you're on a PC then it's gonna be streaming at 60 frames per second when the game never actually ran at 60 frames per second. So it's gonna just play exactly how it played when it was on the PS3. Um, and there, when I was just playing there, it felt pretty choppy. I never, again, I never played the original version on the PS3 itself. So, I don't know, maybe the game was kind of choppy then as well. But I, I have nothing to compare it to, really. But it looked pretty damn janky. And you probably saw it too. <laughs> I don't know. It early, uh, early PS3 games. The cell processor and all that, you know? Hard to develop for, as they, as they say. Too many cells too many emotions okay so we're back into gameplay I have no idea what happened it looks pretty good here but it's a close-up obviously um, I don't know if I can skip this this is definitely in engine it looks fairly good uh, there is a little bit of like stream blur I think I'm gonna coin that term right now stream blur as gaming consoles become more reliant on streaming and the internet and offloading the the hardware processes there's going to be lots of stream blur because you know internet hasn't caught up I guess at least if you don't have Google Fiber or something crazy like that so just let us know how you think about PlayStation now and have you are you gonna try it on your PlayStation PC <laughs> that made no sense are you gonna try PlayStation now on your PlayStation PC are you guys gonna try PlayStation now on your PC have you tried PlayStation now on your PS4 and or Vita um, I tried the Vita PlayStation now streaming it kind of lagged when I was playing journey, but it wasn't too bad uh, This however, I believe is just the technical technical limitations of the actual game And I don't I don't know if it's just you know, it looks bad. It doesn't look bad, but it's like In my mind it looked better. I suppose but Yeah, let us know if you're gonna get PlayStation now or you're gonna stream it or what have you used and uh, See ya Next time, I'm just going to play a little bit and, uh, you know, slowly close this video. Just cool, like, you know? You guys can hang out, talk to me in the comments, leave me a message on Twitter. So I can look at other games for you as well. If you want me to stream other games, I'll definitely try. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, guys. Peace. Oh, and be sure to like this video and, like, share it and stuff.